Hello, everybody. Welcome to Expand Your Life Coaching Business Part 2. It's April 2022. So let's talk more about life creation coaching. Uh, we had also part one two, two weeks ago, and you can listen to recording also on YouTube. So what can we talk about on this part? Like one of the things what is the, the most important thing in business or in coaching or how to create coaching business. It's about connections. It's about how to be connected with more people. Somehow what I, what I see with people who, who do classes, who do sessions, they are too much interested just to get clients. So too much interested just in people who are paying and it doesn't work somehow energetically. You're stopping energy. It's just too small. It's too small energy. It's too small network if you are trying to create only with people who are paying. So it's about growing your network. So it's about growing numbers. How many people know you? How many people are connected with you? How many people are creating with you? How many people are grateful to you, to how many people you changed life, to how many people you influenced life. So it's 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 about the energy of the business, it's about the energy of you. And the more more you grow this number with how many people you can be connected, you are also bigger invitation, you are more expensive invitation. So like explore the energy if you are connected only with 10 people who are paying in next days and weeks, or if you are connected with a lot of people, with 10,000 people who never need to pay, what is the difference in the energy? What is bigger invitation? So what if you don't stop yourself just for these people who are paying also? People are interested just in the next people who are paying. Like, what if you can be connected with a lot of more people and also be connected with all, all your clients that you had until now as much as you can? Also, it depends how much they are interested. Just like it's this, like what you have with people that you know until now is with this, your invitation for new people, for more people. So if you are just interested all the time, just in new, in new people, you are stopping the energy, you are not so big invitation to new people. So create more with all the clients that you had until now, be connected with them as much as possible, say hello to them, say hi to them, like how is your life, what is going on, and be really interested in what is their life, what is happening also, how you can be contribution to their life. And this energy that you are growing with clients that you had until now is invitation also for new people. And so we are all the time too much interested in, in, the, in the new, in the next. Somehow like what we are doing, like also like so somehow, um, move the cable somehow what we are doing it's always like we learned also from different modalities maybe like next 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 and so the thing is like we are somehow we are too much about targets like people like people all the time they are just going forward you know they are just interested in next and what is missing what is missing like when you are having a meeting with your client or when you are in conversation with your client is good that you are really there. That you are different energy than what is the energy of the people nowadays, like almost everybody, like nobody is having time for anything. Nobody's really taking time for anything. Nobody is really there. All, everybody's all the time in, in a hurry. Everybody's all the time in the next moment instead of being there. So like, what if you are not choosing this class or session, you are not choosing to meet a client 
to create something next you are choosing it for for the meeting for the choosing of it for the meeting like for the doing of it it's like what if the way is the target and you are not here just for targets you enjoy also the way and this like how you can be different how you can be different than other people how you can be also something that is missing at the moment in our life and what is required this is what is imitation for more people what what can create more so like that when you do something that you are really doing it that you are really there and that you are doing it just for the doing of it and it doesn't need to be for the next target so you are not having clients to create more with with clients like also you are not creating it for some personal targets you are creating it for the creation of it you are like having clients you are meeting clients because this is something that you are choosing to be and do this is the most amazing moments of your life that you have this meeting and you are not with your thinking with your planning already somewhere else you are there so when you are choosing something you are really there and you are not choosing it any, in any different way and this is something that is missing nobody's nobody's there nobody's having time for anything it's never the time like it's always later everything is later everything is postponed everything is from for for some other targets and we are never there and we are never there and time time goes by and like we are what if we are not here for finish line what if we are here to enjoy the way so this you enjoy the moment and as much as you are enjoying the moment this is how you can create more amazing life and this is how you can be bigger imitation for other people and this like so people are complaining i don't have clients i don't i don't care so much like my clients stopped coming like were you really there for clients or you just wanted the money so it it doesn't work like it's it's like and i'm not saying what is wrong or right it's just like this energy that you are being with somebody is creating more and it's inviting more and how much you can be this also stop complaining just keep on being this presence that is required that you are now with people and be this difference so also like be like an example like stop teaching people show them what is required that we are being and be example for them not that you are just talking about it just be it embody it be embodiment of something that you would like to see in the world and be it so when you when you meet somebody be there be there for this person because nobody is there we are not there like when we sit with somebody we don't have time for sitting we are just thinking about something else how many times you do it how much you have the next plan how much you are meeting somebody just for some result instead of enjoying the meeting and this is the big difference how you can be bigger invitation in in business how you can create more be some different energy than what other people are, are being and be something that you would like to see in the world show to people that we can really take time for each other that we can really be there we can be present with each other so be this energy that is required and this is how you you are changing your life and you are changing life of this person because nobody is having time for anything it's never the time it's never the time to enjoy the moment it's always about the next target it's always about the next target it's always about the next target and also complaining how it it doesn't work so and also it's about like connection with a lot of people so 
don't make it about only about people who are paying make it about the bigger number of people with how many people you can be connected so how many people you can be invitation inspiration to how many people you can change life so it's more about like create with 10000 people be connected with 10000 people let 10000 people know about you and not like 10 or 100 it just doesn't work it's not so amazing energy it's like it's they, like it's just too little like create with 10000 people maybe 10 or 100 they are going to pay something also just like create with 10000 people be connected with 10000 people be inspiration to 10000 people influence their life let's create different life together and like it's some kind of it's hard to be connected with people isn't it <laughs> so one of the things that is required and that is also like super required is allowance with people so everybody is having totally different reality not just different reality like totally different reality each person is functioning from some different universe. Each person is functioning from some different reality. Each person is functioning from some different point of views, from some different interests. Nobody is like you on this planet. And like, somehow to survive, you need to be allowance. You need to be in interesting point of view or like if you have point of views, if, if you are making something right and wrong, you're just dying. It's killing you. So it's allowance. It's about being interesting point of view all the time about everything, about people, about yourself, about your life, about life of others. So it's also like about acknowledging that every person is having some totally different reality. And you can't push them your point of views. You can't push them your reality. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't change their reality. Like how much, how much you duplicated realities of other people by trying to change them. How much you duplicated the realities of other people by trying to change them. It doesn't work. Sorry, it doesn't work. How many people do you know who changed? <laughs> so it doesn't work. Like only we changed, but we have more shit than before. <laughs> so you are trying to change all these people. And we just duplicated the shit. And they are the same. We just have more shit. It doesn't work. So what to do now? So somehow like you can be only allowance and only allowance works. And allowance also means that you don't need to change them. And explore this for yourself. And it's something that is missing. Like nobody's in allowance of anybody. Everybody is judging everybody and everybody is like projecting on everybody what they should be, what they should do. And also how much as a life coach, you were also projecting something on people and you wanted that people are changing and doing and being something else. And we were just doing the same as everybody's doing. So what if you don't need to change people, you are more in allowance of people. So you more acknowledge their reality and also you can be contribution to their reality and also you can learn from their reality. And your acknowledgement of them and your allowance of them. So you see them also as something that you can learn from, and you don't see it so much as something that you are teaching. Maybe you can learn something from them. What can I learn from these people? What can I recognize here? How much like when you were trying to teach them, you were making them wrong. And you were with this, you were thinking that these people are stupid, what made you stupid somehow. 
But what if allowance can create something amazing? And it's 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 magical space that you can be with people. And and it could be that you are the first person who they have met in their whole life who is seen allowance on them. And somehow they are paying for this. Okay. Come to our session. I said come, they don't need to come. Okay, not like I, it's a joke. So they come to our session <laughs> and they come to our class, they come to the meeting and they are paying for allowance. They are paying for the shower of allowance. And this is what we do. We are prostitutes of allowance. That's our job. Life coaching means that you are a prostitute of allowance. And now like, so they come to the, for the shower of allowance. And this is where some kind of space, life is opening for them. When somebody is in allowance of you, when somebody is receiving from you, more of you is coming out. So you are receiving from these people. You are in allowance of them. You are not trying to change them and you are not trying to teach them. Everybody is already doing this. So can you imagine that they are paying to you so you judge them, you make them wrong for all the time for their choices? Yeah, maybe somebody is doing that. It's also is like everything is like you know it can be also service make me wrong i pay you to make me wrong so they come they come for allowance they come for maybe somebody's going to give them space in their life so they can choose what they would like to choose and whatever they choose and whatever they would like to be they can be and also they can be whatever they don't want to be. It's their life, it's their choice, it's their body. And you are receiving from them and you are learning from them. And this is where they are opening somehow. They are opening somehow. How much also you, with some people, you felt greater or you feel greater. You're opening like more of your superpowers show up, more of your gifts shows up. An amazing you is coming out. Wow, somebody's interested to see me. Allowance, receiving from people, learning from them, stop trying to change them. And this is how, like, we are creating this space where we can, we can, we can be creative with many different people, with more different people. And so, we are creating something new on this planet with this, with this. So, if you can be connected with different people, you are bringing something new to this planet. So somehow mostly we are connected with people with who is easy to be in allowance. And it's also cool. It's fun. Um, similar people to us. And still like more you know how to be in allowance of people with more people you can be connected with more people you can create. So, so some people who are amazing connectors they are very like you know flexible people they are very they don't have much point of views about people so less point of views you have about people more you can be con connected with more people and you are better connector and if you have a lot of point of views about people you can't be connected so good with a lot of people so and this being this different invitation to people, so being connected with people who are different, being this invitation, functioning from this energy, 
um, with whatever they are choosing to be. So the thing is like, if you stop the energy, if you put a wall, put a barrier for somebody, you are stopping energy with everything in your life. So when you are fighting with something, if you're not interesting point of view about something, you are stopping your life, you are stopping your energy, you are stopping amazing space with everything. It's, it doesn't work that you do it just with one person. If you do it with one person, you are doing it with everybody. So it's like about being interesting point of view about everything, allowance with a lot of people. So everybody can be different. And um, it doesn't mean that you agree with everything. Somehow it doesn't mean that everybody can do everything. Some things also you stop, you prevent. It, 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 you are just not having mental point of views about it. You know, like if somebody kills somebody, you, it's, you don't need to judge it. You stop it. Or not, you know, like, so when you are like, you can kill something also with total allowance. So it's about energetical presence with everything. And it doesn't mean that you agree with everything so that everybody can do what they want. And um, so you don't judge the killer, you just stop the killer if you can. You are just being something what is stopping these people on this planet. It doesn't mean that you you are making it wrong. Just you are creating together with it. So you are not functioning so much mentally. You are being and doing something what is required all the time. So what is with the last of it? So if you are, if you can be this. It's a lot of different people. You are bringing something different to this planet. So what is what is this planet? What people are doing? They're doing separation with everything all the time. And with this, this is how they are creating that they are just some mental calculator. So they don't need to be energetical with anything. Nothing is ever good enough. they could, could open to some energy. And we don't think to like, you can like, you can function in some different world. So different world is that you are energetical with your body and life and with everything in your life, that you are space, that you are here to enjoy life and you are invitation to other people. We are all more energetical somehow. And people are just mental they are stopping their bodies so they can be mental. And this is one of the main, main things what, what we are invitation to people. But happiness, happiness is with the body. Joy is with the body. And you show it to people somehow. You are invitation to it and they are going to choose what they are going to, going to choose. Something like that. Would anybody like to say something? Do you have some questions? Hmm? Is the sky brighter now, people? We have we have some amazing super capacities that maybe it's not so good that we are using them all the time and so much. And so it's like it's how much we are aware of realities of other people and how much we are duplicating them in our space, how much we are trying to change them, understand them and do something. And this some so like how many times you like you were super tired or you can't move or you can't do anything so there is something that maybe that after 
so long time of doing this, maybe it's finally now time to change this or to stop doing this or to start to function from some different energy. And like maybe we can finally recognize that people are not changing. People are what they are. And it's more our job to be what is required, required that we are, and not to try to change others. But if there is something that you are bringing here, what is there is something that is your job to be it and to do it. And you need to be this and stop making it about other people. Stop making it about other people. What if, because you are working so much energetically, people don't need to come to you. They don't need to pay. Make them work harder, like allow people that they work harder so they come to you so they can like, so, so they come to you, they pay so they can create something with it. There is something that you can share. There is something that you can show to people. And people need to work harder so they, they can recognize something, so they believe in something. You know, it's easy for you, magic, it's easy for you. You need to make it a little more harder for people somehow. So like, what if you don't work so much? And what if we can explore how we can, we can receive for ourselves? So we don't need to show it so much to people, we show it more to ourselves. And how much we are working too much, we are trying to give too much to people. And it was their time for ourselves. And it, it was just an excuse. It was just an excuse. Let, let's give too much. Or how, how long are you giving too much, trying too much, working too hard to change something? To do something good for people. And, and at the same time, maybe you're thinking that you're not so good person. And maybe you already forget, forgot how, how much you are too good person. So what if you, don't, if you stop doing it? And we do the harder job, like taking care about ourselves, taking care about our body, taking care about our life. We stop doing it so much for other people. And this, this baby can create something more, something bigger. Maybe it's easy to, to speak about it. Maybe it's easy to visit a lot of classes. So maybe it's easy to do the classes about this. Maybe it's easy to visit classes from other people about this. Just to do it and to really create something, to change something, maybe it's a little harder. And what I said before, it's about being a difference. So be this difference, be something different than what people are being at the moment. Nobody's having time for anybody. Nobody's having time for anything. Everything is later. Everything is forward. Like everybody's running forward. Nobody's an allowance of anybody. And this is how you are the difference. This is how you bring something different. And this is something that can create more also in your business. Because you are different in mutation and you are something that is required now on this planet. And recognize like, so how, how also to be an allowance of everything, like just like recognize that we are on the planet where like everybody is some totally different reality. It's multi-realities. It's not how people are going to be one reality or like, like every person is having some different reality, some different universe, some different point of view, some different interests, some different targets. This is how is it like explore how to be the change and 
first be the change for yourself. What is one of the things that everybody is doing? Like everybody is interested just in money. And it's like, like how I see it lately and in these months, it saw this also crisis. It started to be even more than, than before. Um, we are also buying reality of majority of people. It's just, it's just point of view. It's not, it's not really true, you know, like everything is so relative. Everything is just a point of view. So somehow you have more money than ever and you think that you don't have money or you are more fighting for survival than before and you have 10 times more money than before because everything is just a point of view. And we, we are buying reality of other people. It's like you, you have more money than before. It just, it feels less. And this is not your reality. It's reality of other people. And this reality of people is just winning. It's just like reality of majority of people is winning. And now with this, all these crises and change and COVID and all these things is just stronger and bigger. So this is why people don't have time for anything. They don't have time for anybody because it's just about the money. It's just about the money for the rest of the month. It's just about how much money they are going to get. There is no life. There is nothing else. These people are more and more becoming money computers. Sorry that I'm saying this. You don't need to judge this. <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> so maybe you like more positive news. Should I share more positive news? <laughs> so, and like, we are just buying by trying to change this reality. We are just buying this reality. Like how much you try, you, you were trying to change money reality of people. It started with your parents when you were a child. And for how long are you trying to change money reality of people? And how much you became their reality? Like before, like you knew here that like we are here to create something amazing. We are here to have fun, you know. Now, after all these years of trying to change other people's reality, like you, you changed fun into the money. So like we are here to have fun. You changed it into we are here to have money. <laughs> so you started to be money calculator. And it's like how much you were trying to change other people's reality. What was your reality about money before? What was your reality about money 20 years ago? And what is now? So how much 20 years ago? You didn't have money problem. And you had so many ideas, what can we create? And it was so much fun. And now 20 years later, it's about money. It's how we duplicate other people's reality by trying to change it. Like people are not changing. We are here to bring something new to the, to the world. You are bringing this different reality about business, creation, money. And instead of that we changed their reality, they changed our reality. Funny, isn't it? So we were trying to change their reality so hard. And many of them, they were also play, paying for it, okay. <laughs> but like, uh, they changed our reality. So you have the same fear as these people. You have the same fear as your family. You have the same fear as your parents. So what if we can recognize more of this energy that we knew 20 years ago? We are here to have fun. We are here to play. And you have money all the time. It's like somehow what is with people around us, like it's, there is like, there is some apocalyptic energy, you know? Do we get some apocalyptic energy in these times? There is some ap apocalyptic energy around. So it's like 
the world is ending, you know, soon. Do you get that there's some apocalyptic energy? Like the world is going to end in one month. Okay, there is apocalyptic energy. So everything is going to finish in one month. So like probably it means that financial system is going down. So how to survive is the main question at the moment of the people. And like, you know, what is our point of view? Because we are different. We are still diff thinking differently, even if we buy their reality, their point of views also. So our point of view is like, I'm not going to die poor. <laughs> I'm joking also, but okay. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just example how we can have slightly different point of views from the same reasons okay just like little more unicornish point of views so yeah so pe people are some kind of like they're they think that it's going to be apocalypse in one month so they are getting ready for it it's some survival mode the future is a choice. And if you are choosing to have life after May, just choose it. Choose it. Choose it. Be this inspiration. Be this invitation. There is life after May. So what is with finances and May because of all these crises? how people are thinking. They are thinking only about May at the moment. So they can't think about June. Okay? So how you can be different is that you are planning July and August, go August, September, October, stop. start planning it. Start planning it. And also, don't just plan this year. Start planning also next year's. What can we do in next year's? What else can you learn? What hobbies you can have? Like, there is so many things that we can explore on this planet. So, like, how, how we are buying other people's reality. So, we started to have this reality what many people do over the next month. So, uh, and like there is no, like there is no long-term creation. And this is how we bought other people's reality. And then there is no energy if you are not creating the future. And it, like the, the future is a choice. So you need to choose now to have an amazing future. So you can have it. And let's let's renew this energy. Let's open to this energy. Again, let's renew this amazing energy. There is so many things that you can do on this planet. But if you don't need to die in one month, because it's cheaper to die. You know, how, how much money can you save if you die in one month? How much money is that? Huh? Just calculate. If you die in one month, you can save so much money. Very economical, it's very good. Right? You are almost rich. Life costs, you know, <laughs> it's better to not to have life. So how much you bought other people's realities by trying to change them and how much we are aware of people around us and we started to function like them. Then we forgot to be like what is some kind of our job to be on this planet. It's to be, bring something new, it's, it's to be different, to be different than other people. And 
um, how this like reality of other people, energy of other people won at the moment is like winning like crazy. What are you going to do about this? Are you going to hide and sleep and buy the reality? Or you are going to remind yourself about what you know and what you were also already during this lifetime. Amazing moments when you were some different space. So you know something and people don't know this. And you are bringing this to people. Like a virus, it's like something that you are activating people. That you are activated, you were activated. Then you meet people, you do a session, you do a class and you activate them, you give it forward. Your job to do it. Just meet people and change their life. Just meet people and change their life. Just meet people and change their life. And sometimes, sometimes we are alone in this. It is alone. And like, what is a good reminder is that like, Earth is being this. And Earth is always here and Earth is always having your back. And what this activation is like, you just activate people, you open people to this planet. Show them this planet. Look how beautiful planet we have. Let's enjoy. Let's see it, let's enjoy it, let's be grateful. This is the activation. So when you, if you forget sometimes, or if you feel terrible, remind yourself that it's, it's not about you. You are more like opening the doors. You don't need to be this paradise. You don't need to be this beauty. You can be it just like it's not about you. You are opening the doors. You are giving them a key. You are just showing it. Everything is here all the time. So how much you bought other people reality is by trying to change them, by being too good person. And what if we can be a little more selfish, we can create so much more also for other people if you are a little more selfish. Any questions? Anybody would like to say something? I would like to say something. Okay. Uh, you are just repeating my thoughts from this morning. <laughs> Today I was, um, uh, I mean, I feel depressed. I'm hardly uh, moving, uh, just everything you said. And um, then I figure out, actually, energetically, I'm really trying to heal the surrounding, the planet or whatever the society, it doesn't work. And it makes me more and more and more depressed. I'm entering the re reality. And then I figure out um, if somebody can do something, 
Then it's me for myself. Nobody else. <laughs> She's talking also. <laughs> Nobody else can do that for me. And um, I don't need to buy the reality of others. I don't need to buy the depression of others. I don't need to buy anything because I, I have me. Uh, although I figure out that um, focusing on me, it's the most difficult thing. I just want that to end quickly so I can uh, give myself to the planet and the world. And this is and now. <laughs> just speak, just speak. <laughs> She's speaking. <laughs> okay. Okay, check it. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is what happened to me this morning. I was just um, cooking inside of me all this. Um, uh, all these consciousness feelings. <laughs> and um, you're right, uh, right. Uh, there, there is a need to be more focused on myself, to give, uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> to give time to myself. To, uh, to, to uh, not time to give energy and to be patient and in allowance first with my, myself. I'm in allowance with others' depression. I'm not in allowance with my fullness. You cared about everybody before you. Okay. Before. Kaji, I did. No, we're now today to talk like this because. Okay, this is just I want. Show, show us I, the little girl. She's she looks. She, she sounds beautiful. She is now discussing, but she doesn't <laughs> want to come. Okay, do it, Devika. Do it, do it. Vamos a ver. Brzo, brzo. Come, come, come. To say about the world. What is the most important thing? Hello. Does he hello, Harris? His name hello. is Harris. Hello. <laughs> what is, so the, what most is the most important thing? He's asking you what is the most important what? thing? Huh? What? What is the most important thing? What would you think of the moment? <laughs> okay. So this was it. Great. Thank In you. In the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So somehow we need to take care about our body is the main thing. Also, like what means for ourselves. And like we just we just need to do things with ourselves what we are saying to other people. Yes. We need to do the homework. I was doing the process this morning. This, this is what I noticed. And I was in a, such a hurry to finish the process. I was, you know, just going fast, 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 fast. And after that, I didn't have anything to do energetically to give myself to the planet. I mean, what stupidity. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't understand you. <laughs> you didn't? No. I was doing a process. And I was in a hurry for me, uh, in a hurry to, to finish the process. So energetically, I can give myself to others. You understand now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is stupidity. I didn't yeah. have time. I, I didn't have uh, wish and desire to connect with myself. Yeah. And then I want to connect with others and to inspire others. 
I mean, others are not important at all. I understand now, yeah. So yeah, so this is something that, that we need to change. So we take, take more about our body, ourselves than how much we take care about others. This is what I have to change. Yeah, and this is also from contributions. I'm working on this like for many years to change this. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is like, I recognize that this is required like also a few years ago, this is necessary somehow because it's more about being contribution to people than doing contribution. So more about being the invitation to something. You need to be example of it. You yes. Know? Also like with children, like, it's so like whatever you do with children, like I have, I had a daughter. Um, it's like it's not about how much you say to them what is right or wrong to do, you know, or how much you stop them from something. Is with what is the way of way of doing? It? What is the way of doing it? Because they are du going to duplicate you. They are not listening you what is good or bad you know they are just going to duplicate you yes. so, like what if with your everyday behavior your example and invitation to people what they are going to choose you know i was screaming on my daughter you know to stop her from something now she learned very good how to scream <laughs> she is this is what than is me. happening you know, like when she says stop it's like oh my god <laughs> So like, this is what is happening yeah but like yeah to what would we, what would we like to show to people and you need to be it somehow for yourself and you need to be this example so you are showing this possibility and like what would you like to show to people so we would like to show to people happiness we would like to show to people that you can feel good in your life we would like to show to people that you can create life that you desire, you can live your dreams, you know, like so many things. Mm -hmm. Like maybe everybody here, write it on the paper what you would like to show to people. And then choose these 10 things for yourself. Yes. So we have homework in this school. <laughs> we have homework. <laughs> Who likes homework? So write 10 things, or like I think 15 is a good number for this group. 15 things. That you would like to share with people 15 okay we are all so, so good givers so 15 things that you would like to share to people share with people and then change the sentence into that you are choosing this for yourself okay. i'll work until the next time yes klaske oh, okay okay there was also questions in the chat, but like I think that we explained many things on the way. So it's like that. It's like so, it's about allow some people explore this. How much you wanted to change people, and explore how much you can be more allowance of them. What if many people hated you? What if many people didn't want to meet you? Because because you were so smart about your choices and your reality and your classes that you are doing. So people would like to meet you because you are listening to them, not because they need to listen to you. And it's more about them. So it's also allowance about them, like how much when you were smart about your reality, somehow you were you wanted to change their reality. So acknowledge their reality, stop trying to change their reality and explore what can show up because like maybe people are opening with this. So they are interested to change something. They are interested in your contribution. Maybe if you acknowledge first their reality, if you are in allowance of their reality, you are learning from them and not trying to teach them. So like, how is it when somebody is trying to teach you? You are not going to meet with this person. So you are going to meet with somebody like energetically, it works better when somebody is learning from you. Where you can feel good about yourself, where you can feel good about your choices. So learn from people, stop trying to change them. And from everybody, there is something to learn. 
Like maybe also there you are better in an energetical world, but may, maybe they are better in human worlds, <laughs> in normal world. So they can teach you so many things also from normal life. How to call mechanical or something, you know? So this like allow them to be what they are choosing to be and somehow use them in your life. People would like to be used, not that you are just giving. Allow people that they are contribution to your life. And they are going to like you more. What if they hate you because you are giving all the time? Any more questions? I have a question. Yes. But I have to go out because I'm at work. <laughs> One moment. I have a question, yes. Outside, hello. Uh, yeah. I have a question. I was having a drink at the terrace with a friend. I do not know him so much. And then I can be in allowance with a lot of energies, but, and it was so nice. And then after the, the, the day, he went home or she went home. And then I'm like with all those energies. And it's like, I'm trying to change that afterwards because then I'm thinking about the day and I mean, like, uh, yeah, maybe I'm judging then. I'm not sure. But then I know why am I with this person still? <laughs> and he's gone for a while now. Yeah, so we have these amazing understand? capacities. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So we have these amazing super capacities that, like, we can be in, in realities of more people at the same time. Just, like, you can recognize that it's somehow we can use the word stupid. Stupid that you are doing it, stupid that you are doing it later, you know? Yeah. You're just taking taking your life, taking the energy of your body. So somehow, like for me, what is a good cure for this? It's exercise. We need to do more sport. We need, we need to learn more how to be body, how, how like when you are moving uh, your body more, if you are exercising more, you are more with body body feels better, body is happier. And these, these superpowers, they are working less, wow. you know? And like what we do, we are, not, we are not moving the body, we are sitting too much. The world is too much virtual, you know? Like virtual world is also brain world of other people. People have virtual life, they have life in the brain. So many things are happening just in their brain. And then also what is happening, like it started also with TV, now even more with internet, now even more with social media. We have a life which is virtual life. And somehow we need to stop this. So it's, it's very good, like also if you, if you do social media, like maximum one hour per day. So you learn during the day how to be more with body, how to be more like physical. Yeah. So what is happening? These superpowers, like spiritual superpowers, are working too much. Then you yes. don't do anything. You don't do anything. You are tired. You are sleepy. Yeah. You need to drink alcohol. You need to have a lot of sugar. <laughs> and it's something that doesn't work. So we need to like exercise more and use these spiritual spiritual things, spiritual superpowers less. Because I'm now I'm aware that I'm doing this, and I think, why am I doing this? Come on, go away and do something else. But yeah, so it, you need to go out. You need to move your body. Is the best yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Because like, because what is happening? Like because moving. yeah, yeah, we are working so much energetically and spiritually that we don't do anything else in our life. No. Oh. And then this like TV or social media, it's even bigger trap. So like yeah. what is happening? Then you have brain, brain only, you can watch only TV. 
or you can only be on social media, but like not really like creating something on social media, but only like reading something, reading some news, you know, like vegetating, like reading some news, reading some articles, easy being like easy. Uh, is because we are working so much that you can't do anything else. And I think the best thing is to do yeah. as much as possible sports, to yeah. go outside. I know when I do sports, when I move my body, I feel amazing. If I don't do it, if I'm in my bed all the time or like in living room or, or mobile yeah. phone all the time, it's just, it's terrible. So this some kind of sports, like as, as I said many times already, we all we need to do is is exercise sports to yeah. create an amazing life more body connection and then it's, because yeah, we have you know, yeah we have other things activated like this uh, like energetic spiritual superpowers how you can be connected with people everything is already super activated it, and that's even a, pro, a a problem because it's so much activated you are like you are better connector than what you are really using it for for connections yeah and it's it's good that we go that we like we are so we don't need to work so much on being we don't need to work so much on energy we need to work more on how to really do something that's true yeah because i thought oh i need to know more and, and there's more and more and more and more i think yeah. whoa I'm losing. And then it. you can't All do this. anything. Yeah. No, so it's, then I'm stuck. We, yeah, we need to stop these informations and yeah. we need to do something. Yeah. You are, we are too much like we are too much functioning as an infinite being. We are too much functioning as an infinite capacities, as an infinite awareness. We need to stop this and do more like doing. Yeah. If you would like to create more. So and sport helps a lot yeah. and should we say that masturbation counts or not yes okay. <laughs> maybe we can vote <laughs> does masturbation count as a sport or not yes of course we, we can be democracy okay <laughs> so ask your body after masturbation ask your body is it enough of exercise or do we need to do more okay this, i think this is the answer <laughs> so i'm going now out after this you, you convinced me <laughs> i'm going to exercise outside i'm going to move my body so yeah this what is also happening with like like life of people how was how was it also before social media how is now with social media, with computers, with phones? How how life is in the brain and how life is on TV? Like life is too much vi virtual. We don't do things anymore. Like we learned also this with COVID helped a lot to this. So life is inside and you don't do anything and you are just thinking and working energetically on something and you are on social media you are inside of the room and this is something what you need to stop now and to have more like real life that we really do something and not just that we are thinking about it. and that you make things like we are then what is this thinking? What is virtual life? There is so many possibilities you are all the time thinking about it and you never do anything should i do this maybe i should do this just make your life more about what you really do go and do it what you really start what you're really creating not so much about what is possible what you could do that you are maybe not going to do and like also like what i have seen with people it's um what is social media creating is that people are too much watching what other people are doing. And this is not creating more, it's not contribution, it's not good for your creations. If you are so much checking what other people are doing. It doesn't work so good, it's not so good 
energetically. Like everybody is functioning from some totally different reality, from some totally different universe, from some totally different life. And somehow when we are checking other people, we started to compare ourselves somehow with others. And comparison is stopping the energy because you are making yourself as part of their universe somehow to, to be something comparable. Because this amazing energy that you can be, that you are, is something uncomparable. So if you compare yourself with anything, then you stop this amazing energy. And you are something comparable. So what if you don't need to be something comparable? What if you can be something unique? So it's not comparable. You get like you can't compare yourself, your life, your choices, your results with anything or anybody. You are something different. You are bringing something different to this planet. Like to be successful in some kind of classes or to be successful in some brand of classes or in some numbers is just a number. What you are bringing to this plant is something unique, is something totally different. Much more than the number. Something uncomparable. And like, just bring it more. Just be, bring it more. And we have agreement with universe, with earth, you are going to have money. It's a deal, it's not just your wish. It's a done deal, bring more of this magic and you are going to have money back. Don't worry. You're going to have a lot of money. You can buy yourself any cocktail you want. A deal. Agreement, you know this. I'm not doing this for free, baby. Mine's yours. Don't worry about it. Okay. Good deal. Universe Earth. All the gods. All the names of gods. Everything saying you are the money. It's, it's a deal. You are rich, bitch. Done. It's already created. Thank you. You next week on Wednesday, I think we have part number three. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Olivia and Jordan, for translation. Thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Smile, Thank please. You, Muchas gracias. Thank you, Harris. Thank you. Hi, smile, please. I don't know, Harris, if I look good for the photos. Yes. You are always the best. Thank you, Horace. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you.